In this video, we will demonstrate the workflow for Post and Core. With Reshape Trios, it's easy to scan a Post and Core case and send it directly to the lab. You can do that using the integrated system of scan posts that corresponds to the drill used. Scan posts should be autoclave to avoid cross contamination. Starting on the patient's page, select the patient, then click New Case. Select the lab, and the order form will appear. Select the tooth that needs to be restored. Choose the Miscellaneous tab and select Post and Core Restoration. Then select the system from the system drop down list and the type that you will use for your preparation. At the end, select the desired material. Finally, set the delivery date by clicking the Delivery Date button. Now proceed to the scan page, where you'll have to make four scans. Lower arch without scan posts. This will be the master model. Lower arch just adding scan posts and antagonist, which is the upper arch in this case. And then the bite. First, use retraction cord and or a hemostatic agent if parts of the margin line are subgingival. In this case, start by scanning the opposing arch to allow time for the retraction methods to take effect. As the preparation is on the lower arch, on this particular case, start by scanning the upper arch. While scanning, follow the official scan strategy. Now scan the lower arch without the scan post. It's important to scan the same area as in the upper jaw for the best possible bite later on. Leave the retraction cord in place and scan the arch. Then trim away the margin in the scan using the trim tool. Remove the retraction cord, dry the teeth and scan the margin immediately before the gingiva collapses. Finally, mark the preparation. You'll see a blue overlay around the preparation mark, indicating the area that will be automatically cut out when going to the scan post page. If necessary, you may reposition the preparation mark to obtain your desired cutout. You may adjust the automatic cutout radius under More, Settings, Trios, Scan Settings, or you may turn it off completely if you prefer to trim manually. Always use the smallest cutout area possible for a given restoration. Now proceed to the scan post and core page. Insert the scan post in the prepared canal and start the scanner, pointing at a neighboring tooth. Once the scanner has picked up the position, slowly move to the scan post and circle around it to scan it from all angles. Now remove the scan post and scan the bite. Switch to the Analyze page to confirm that there is enough space for the reconstruction between the upper and lower jaw. Set the margin line and optionally add some comments or shade measurements. Finally, switch to the Send page. You'll see a summary of the order. Press the Send button to send the order. Now you know how to scan for post and cores. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.